It's so good to be back here in South Carolina. That's home of the game time. Nice feed. Wow. Another fantastic flush by Bryant. Dunked it right on his head. Look at the ball movement for Carolina. Gosh, that's pretty. Hi again, everybody. Welcome in to Gamecock Insider. I'm Derek Scott. We, of course, are at Founders Park. This is the Simmons First Base Club. Yes, baseball season has arrived in the Palmetto State and in the SEC. And we're going to cover some Gamecock baseball. We've got Mark Kingston mic'd up at a practice. You'll see what it's like to go behind the scenes when Carolina has a workout here at Founders Park. A lot of other sports to cover as well. We've got some Gamecock women's basketball highlights. We're going to sit down with McGee Moody, Carolina's swimming and diving coach, and talk about the upcoming SEC championships. And also, we'll touch base with uh, Gamecock men's soccer. Yeah, they're actually having a spring season this year due to COVID, and uh, they're off to a pretty nice start. So we'll cover some things there as well. As we get it started, though, we touch base on the Prisma Health injury update. And unfortunately, in the news there, the Gamecock men's basketball team, they've had a couple of injuries crop up within the last week. A pair of starters are out right now. Jermaine Kusnard rolled an ankle against Ole Miss, and in that same game, Justin Minaya suffered a head injury. They both missed the recent contest against Tennessee. Not sure on what the return date is for either of them at this point, hopefully sooner rather than later with the postseason approaching. And that is your Prisma Health injury update. Prisma Health, official team physicians of the Gamecocks. While we're talking Gamecock men's basketball, recent home game featured an anniversary of the 71 ACC championship team. Of course, we couldn't get the bunch together for a reunion due to coronavirus, but that will happen next season. But in the meantime, let's take a stroll down memory lane and look back upon the amazing finish that got South Carolina that 71 ACC championship. In the final against North Carolina, they fell way behind, then rallied. Trailing by a point with five seconds to go. And the Gamecocks were champions of the ACC. It was perhaps the most dramatic moment in USC basketball history. The Gamecocks had won the ACC championship in what it turned out was their last ACC game. Wow, what great footage that was. And of course, having a chance to work with Casey Manning on the Gamecock Radio Network, who was on that team. I hear a lot about that game and that team, but it's still something to see the video of uh, the improbable jump ball win that got South Carolina the ACC championship back in 1971. And boy, it's going to be great to get those guys back together next year at Colonial Life Arena. Coming back with more of Gamecock Insider in just a moment from Learfield IMG College. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks, and Home Team Barbecue, the new location for Carolina Calls. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. It happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't.
This is James. Jimmy! Mom, Dad, this is James. Jimmy! James? James Harrison from Roosevelt High? Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh! You good, Jimmy? The 2021 Toyota RAV4. Jimmy! The RAV for all of you. Lease a new 2021 RAV4 LE for $249 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider at Founders Park. It's opening weekend for South Carolina baseball. As we record this show, of course, opening day game has not happened yet against the Dayton Flyers, so be sure to tune in next week for highlights from that opening weekend series. But we most certainly want to talk some Gamecock baseball, so we're going into the archives a bit. Back before the coronavirus struck us and this baseball program, we had a chance to get Mark Kingston mic'd up at a practice. Again, remember, this was pre-COVID, so no masks were involved <laughs> in the recording of this program, but it's a really neat segment. Let's take a look at Mark Kingston, mic'd up with Gamecock Baseball. The more you prepare beforehand, the more relaxed, creative, and effective you'll be when it counts, okay? Just be prepared. Everything you ever do, if you wanna have a chance to be successful, be prepared. Be mentally sharp now, guys. Mentally invested. Tomorrow's an off day. Got to be in it right now. Got to be in it right now, every guy. You guys ever watch Hard Knocks? You ever heard of Hard Knocks? Yes, sir. You have? I love that show. Oh boy, Ice, backspin that ball. When you're backspinning the ball to right center, that's pretty. pretty quick. Load up and take your stride. You're kind of rushing here a little bit too much. I watched some of your old stuff and it was load and here. For right now it's here. Oh, attaboy Burgess, good. Smooth, smooth and fluid, that's good. You guys sometimes fall into the trap of thinking you've gotta be squared up to do it. Most of the time at first base, give yourself a little angle here or a little angle here. It's gonna make it much easier to get that ball into the pocket of your glove. Atta boy, get that bat head out. Okay, outfield on that play. Do you need to worry about the cutoff man? There's only a guy third and a sack fly. Air it out, try to throw him out. There's nobody to keep the ball low for it. We can't let him score on that ball in the corner. As soon as there's no play, we turn it into a cut. Make sure you, make sure you take the glove out in post. That's it, that's it, good stagger. On that arm fake, where are you tagging? It'd be right here. It would be right here, wouldn't it? Because that's who we're trying to get on an arm fake. Where did you just tag the last time? Right here. We're not arm faking on a guy stealing third, right? Way to come get a hop, way to come get a hop. Remember, you're always better off getting started early and slowing it down than being late and having to be quick. Chipper Jones used to say it all the time, the harder they throw, the slower your feet and load need yeah. to be. Tomorrow's an off day. Use it to recharge your batteries. Let's have a great one on Thursday. Yeah. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Family. Thanks to Coach Kingston, letting us mic him up at that practice again pre-COVID era. Hopefully things get back to normal sooner than later. But nonetheless, baseball season has arrived. This team has been scrimmaging when the weather has permitted. Our camera crews have been out for those scrimmages and give you a chance to uh, get a look at some of these new Gamecock faces.
Be sure to tune in to Carolina Calls on the Gamecock Sports Network. Thursday night at 7 p.m., we talk basketball with Frank Martin at Home Team Barbecue in Five Points. to make a lasting impact through acts of kindness, compassion, and strength. They inspire us to innovate and educate, to do more than we ever thought possible, to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. This is James. Jimmy! Mom, Dad, this is James. Jimmy! James? James Harrison from Roosevelt High? Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh. You good, Jimmy? The 2021 Toyota RAV4. Jimmy! The RAV for all of you. Lease a new 2021 RAV4 LE for $249 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. I'm so done with this. Thank you. No, I'm looking for love. Oh, you'll love Founders Federal Credit Union. I get 24-7 access. I can pay bills, send money with Founders Pay, mobile deposits, free checking, and I earn more with Loyalty Select. And Founders has awesome low rates on loans for basically anything. Relax. Everyone knows that Founders is better than a bank. Exactly. It's love calling. The benefits of the big banks, the service and low rates of Founders. See if membership is right for you. Relax. You're with Founders. We are back on Gamecock Insider. I'm Derek Scott. The Gamecock women's basketball team season continuing to move forward as this squad leads the SEC. One of their tougher matchups, the first trip through the league, so to speak, was against the LSU Tigers on the road. LSU came back to Colonial Life Arena this past weekend for a return engagement. Destiny Henderson leading the Gamecocks to a victory. We've got your highlights right here. Destiny Henderson scores 19 points, and Aaliyah Boston has yet another double-double as South Carolina takes care of business and home against LSU. Of course, following that contest, Gamecocks suffered a loss on the road at Tennessee, and so the 31-game SEC winning streak, a school record, came to a close. But hey, that's all right. They'll start a new winning streak on Senior Day, and we'll get things rolling again with the Carolina women's program. We've got more Gamecock Insider coming up in just a bit from Learfield IMG College.
today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> It's like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. People have the power to make a lasting impact through acts of kindness, compassion, and strength. They inspire us to innovate and educate to do more than we ever thought possible to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. So very, sans very. It's not just about style and vision. It's about passion, our passion, to make sure that you have the perfect glasses or contact lenses for your look. You know, it's just so very sans very. With so many choices and options available, we want to make sure your eyewear looks great and feels great. That's So Very Sansbury. So Very Sansbury Eye Center. Good hard work has earned Emma Shelton the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the women's tennis team, Shelton is a sophomore finance major with a 4.0 GPA. This week's Academic Athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good, hard work. That's your Sandsbury. Did you see that play? Brian Banahan with the golden goal. Carolina wins in overtime over USC Upstate by a score of 2-1. to one. That was the Gamecocks' fourth consecutive win. And on our Terminix Pest Player of the Week, Andrew Halloran from men's soccer, who had three goals against Winthrop in a recent win for Carolina. He was named the Conference USA Offensive Player of the Week, and he earns our recognition as well. Coming back with more of Gamecock Insider, we've got to sit down with McGee Moody, a preview of the Carolina and SEC Swimming Championship in just a moment here from Learfield IMG College. Gamecock women's basketball fans, download the Gamecock app and play three points the hard way. Brought to you by our friends with the best made from scratch biscuits, Hardee's. If the women's basketball team makes three three-pointers in a game, you can score a free sausage biscuit at Hardee's tomorrow during breakfast hours. Once we hit our three three-pointers, stop by your favorite Hardee's, show them the coupon in the Gamecocks app, and bam, a free biscuit. Get your biscuit at participating Columbia and Spartanburg area Hardee's. Feed your happy. Absolute Total Care. One plan, always covered. Learn more at AbsoluteTotalCare.com. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. Because of this, we built Ford Super Duty to be our most capable heavy-duty pickup. Because of this, we gave the all-new 2021 F-150 an available 12-inch touchscreen. Because of this, we built Ranger with a terrain management system. And because Ford trucks are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. Don't miss the chance to get a 2020 F-150 with up to 10,531 in total savings at your Carolina Ford dealer. People have the power to make a lasting impact through acts of kindness, compassion, and strength. They inspire us 
to innovate and educate, to do more than we ever thought possible, to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. Farm Bureau Insurance is giving you a chance to win two tickets to an upcoming home women's basketball game. Visit uscontest.com and register for your chance to win. Everyone that registers will be entered for the chance to win the grand prize, an autograph ball from Coach Don Staley. Register to win at uscontest.com. That's uscontest.com. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks, and Home Team Barbecue, the new location for Carolina Call. Back on Gamecock Insider here at Founders Park, we're going to jump over to the pool for just a minute. Carolina's men's and women's swimming and diving team, busy group right now. They've got SEC championships going on. In fact, the diving team right now is in Columbia, Missouri, while the women's swimming team is in Athens, Georgia. They're competing for SEC championship glory. And in just a few days, the men's swimming team gets started as well. They'll be out in Columbia, Missouri as well. So talk about stretch thin, the Carolina coaching staff is all over the place. But before they hit the road, we sat down with McGee Moody, the head coach of the program for a preview. All right, here with head coach McGee Moody. Um, first off, coach, happy birthday. Thank you, sir. Uh, second off, you guys are ready to get back in the pool after a little break. SEC championships this week. Uh, the women head to Athens. Uh, starts on Wednesday, and then next week the men will be, uh, go up to Columbia, Missouri. Yeah, this is an entirely new thing for us. Uh, one of the great things about the SEC championships that always kind of sets us apart from everyone else is it's combined. Um, and the energy that that meet brings is really not like anything else in the country. Um, the meet sells out in minutes, and – uh, the, the, the teams are, are combined, men and women, and the energy in the, in the, the facility is, is awesome. Um, this year, because of COVID, we're having to change that up. We can't have as many people on the pool deck. We obviously can't have spectators. Uh, so we are splitting the meets. Uh, the women's going to be in Athens. The men are headed out to Columbia, Missouri next week. And so this is entirely new for everybody. Uh, the coaches are adjusting their training. They're, they're adjusting the rest because we can't bring them all down together. It's got to be at two separate times based on uh, when our women are racing and when our men are racing. Our divers are out in Missouri now. They've already headed out there and, and getting ready to compete here in a couple of days. So um, there's a lot of different things going on. Uh, but the bottom line is, is uh, we're excited because – uh, August and September, we didn't know if this was actually going to be able to happen. Uh, we didn't know how logistically we would do it. We didn't know if we could do it safely. Uh, and there's been a lot of coaches, a lot of administrators at the SEC level and at the university level that have worked really hard to put together the logistics and the ideas and the principles around which we were going to operate over the next two weeks to make these championships go off and, and to really set the tone for the rest of the country. Um, because we have a lot of, lot of conferences watching us to see how we do this and, and see if we can do it successfully. And, uh, and it's my hope that the NCAA, NCAA also takes a look at our conference meet and sees that we can do this safely and successfully and, uh, and take some notes from what we're doing and, and put that into, uh, into their operations as well. So there's a lot of responsibility on our conference this week. Um, the, the eyes of the swimming world will be on us, and, and that's just the way we like it. How much of a grind is this competition? You got swims in the morning, swims at night. Just just talk a little bit about the grind that this competition is. Well, it, it's we're, we are the only, typically in a normal year, we're the only conference championship that goes for four and a half days. Uh, most other conference championships are three and a half days, and we do that to put our athletes in the best position to qualify for NCAAs. That additional day allows us to split the events up a little bit more. Um, this year we, we're shortening it because of COVID, and, uh, and so – uh, it is a grind, and the the honestly the the energy level is so high that it's emotionally it's it's as draining as physically it is draining. So um, I, I know that when the coaches finish up uh, that that meet, um, we're exhausted and we don't have to race. So you know the the emotional, the stress, the anxiety, all that coupled into one tires out the coaches but then you add the physical component on top of it and the athletes are under an immense amount of strain for four and five days and so uh, we have we've prepared them for that and, and I believe their training this year has been good uh, it's been different because of COVID but I, I believe we're where we need to be to go be successful so um, we're excited to to go and 
Uh, and, and I know, like I said, I, I know our women are ready. I know our men are ready, and, and we're just ready to, to get there and race. At this point, um, you know, Bear Bryant used to say the hay's in the barn. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of work left to do. We're, we're just going to race. So the sooner we can get on the bus and get on the plane, the happier we'll be. There's that old saying, if you want to be the best, you got to compete against the best. How good is this conference in the pool? Uh, it's the best in the country. Uh, the, the top end times are faster than anybody else. And, and when you look at the depth, uh, places 1 to 24, uh, there's no one else in the country that's remotely close to us. Uh, the, the, the times that it takes, you have to be an elite level athlete just to score a point in this conference. Um, let alone be a, a top level athlete in the conference. So, um, you know, it, it, it's that's why people come into this conference. That's why coaches come into this conference is to go and to compete against the best in the world. And there was uh, just to, just to tell you a story. This is this is probably. 20, I guess 2012 and 2016, we've had this both times. 2012, there was one final heat at our SEC championships that, was, that did not have uh, one Olympian in it. Every, every event we had had an Olympian in that event. Uh, one event, the men's 200 freestyle, every man, every man in the final except for one was an Olympian. So, uh, yeah, it, it is true. If you want to be the best, you got to beat the best, and, and you got to go through this conference to do it. So... Uh, that's what gets everybody fired up. That's why we wake up every morning. As always, thanks to McGee Moody for giving us some of his time. As we said, those uh, programs in three different times and locations going on simultaneously with swimming and diving championships. If you want to see how it all turns out, certainly visit GamecocksOnline.com to get all of the results from those various SEC championship meets. Before we wrap things up, it's time for our Toyota Keys to the Game. Carolina women's basketball, as we referenced earlier, saw its 31-game SEC winning streak snapped this week against the Tennessee Lady Vols. So what's the key for this team after suffering a couple of recent losses to uh, regain its momentum heading into the postseason? Well, for starters, just listen to your all-world coach, Don Staley, what she's got to say. And then take a little bit better care of the basketball. The careless turnovers hurt this team in both of those contests. Those are your keys to the game. They are brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. We're going to go on out of here because, well, there's baseball to be played later today. But in the meantime, be sure to join us again next week here on Gamecock Insider. We'll have a complete recap of the opening weekend for Mark Kingston's 18th ranked squad in the nation, plus coverage of many other sports in the Gamecock world. Until then, I'm Derek Scott. Thanks for joining us here on the Gamecock Insider. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.